Oh my God, leopard cubs attack hyenas. See what happens next. The food we eat provides the fuel we need to get around, eat, work, and do everything else that makes up our days. But where does all of this stuff come from? Each living thing on Earth is supported by a complex and interconnected food chain. In ecology, a food chain refers to the sequential passing of nutrients from one creature to another. The primary food source, plants, use photosynthesis to transform solar energy into food. Cutting out unnecessary links in the food chain frees up more energy for others farther down the line. An animal gets consumed by another carnivore in a predator chain. That's what happens when a cub and hyenas meet. Who, if anyone, will become the prey, and who is the predator? Watch this video to get to know the answer. Stay tuned. In this video, we're going to tell you what happens when a leopard cub attacks hyenas. Watch this video till the end. The Leopard, Predator of the Jungle an extraordinary cat and top predator, the leopard is a treasure of the jungle because of its stealth and invisibility. Absolutely, that's a leopard. Panthera pardus is the Latin term for leopards. The majority of leopards have pale fur with dark markings. Rosettes is the name given to these blemishes because of their rose-like appearances. Since their fur is so dark, it's difficult to discern the spots on black leopards. Leopards are distributed all across the world. You can spot them in Sub-Saharan Africa, Northeastern Africa, Central Asia, India, and China. The top speed recorded for a leopard was 58 kilometers per hour or 36 miles an hour. They have a tremendous amount of spring and can make a vertical leap of six meters, which is the equivalent of the height of three people lying on their backs. Female leopards can give birth at any time of the year and typically have many cubs. Mama bears often stick by their cubs until they're around two years old, at which point they are fully capable of going out on their own and taking care of themselves. The Nature of Leopards Leopards are lonely animals who prefer to spend their time by themselves. In order to deter other animals from entering their territory, they leave scratch marks on trees, urine stains, and feces behind them. When searching for a mate, both males and females will occasionally travel beyond the boundaries of their territories. These huge felines enjoy having a diverse selection of foods available to them in their diet. They will eat practically every food source that is available to them, including insects, fish, monkeys, rodents, and even deer. The skill that distinguishes them from others. Leopards are accomplished climbers and spend much of the day dozing off in the crooks and crannies of tree branches. They're powerful predators as well and are able to carry their heavy prey up into the woods where it'll be safe from annoying scavengers like hyenas that might otherwise take their food. Leopards are nocturnal animals, meaning that they are active during the night when they go out in quest of food. They spend most of their time during the day sleeping, hiding in caverns or remaining hidden among the foliage. Leopards have their own unique calls that they use to communicate with one another. For example, if a male leopard wants to alert another leopard to his presence, he will cough in an extremely hoarse and raspy manner. In addition, when they're happy and calm, they purr just like domestic cats do. When they're enraged, they growl. How Leopards Hunt These large cats are experts when it comes to tracking down prey and securing a meal. When a leopard spots an animal that could provide it with food, it sneaks up on it with its legs bowed and its head lowered so that it's not seen. After that, it approaches its target with caution and silence until it's within 5 to 10 meters of its kill zone. Then, leap to it! The leopard pounces on its prey and kills them by biting them in the throat or the neck as it races toward them. The feline's paw will deliver a lethal blow to any little prey it catches, such as baby birds or mice, for example. What is a hyena? One of the most poorly understood and undervalued animals are hyenas. Hyenas belong to the family Hyenidae in the animal kingdom. The hyena has the strongest bite of any mammal thanks to its massive head, long, thick, muscular neck, and powerful jaws. Four of the spotted hyena's toes include sharp, permanent claws. The litter size for a hyena is anywhere from one to three small black puppies. Unlike many species of cats, whose cubs are born mostly blind and helpless for several weeks, hyena cubs are precocial, 
meaning they are born in a more advanced stage of development with their eyes open, teeth intact, and muscles ready to go. Spotted hyenas are among the longest living terrestrial predators. The Nature of Hyenas Spotted hyenas are extremely social animals that are known for living in big family groupings, also known as clans, that can have up to 130 members. Hyenas are sociable animals just like wolves and lions, but unlike those two species, they often live alone or in small groups and only gather together when they absolutely have to. Fusion fission is the phrase that's used to describe this kind of society. The intricate social behavior of the spotted hyenas is the laugh, on the other hand, is not intended to be funny. Rather, it is a statement of social anxiety and uncertainty. How Hyenas Hunt When pursuing prey that is larger than themselves, hyenas behave similarly to dogs and wolves. They hunt in packs and kill their prey by biting at it in a coordinated effort. Some hyena packs are known to specialize in hunting particular animals. It's possible that one family has become adept at hunting wildebeests and another at hunting zebras. As one example, wildebeest hunters frequently form tight-knit packs when going for their prey. One of them inevitably dashes into the herd of wildebeests, causing chaos. Then, they single out one particular animal to hunt, often the eldest, youngest, or one that is wounded or weak. All the other wildebeests run away in fear, and the hyenas attack their prey. The repercussions of a meeting between a leopard cub and a pack of hyenas. Mother leopards always stay with their children and provide the best possible care for them. At three months of age, the young usually begin to accompany their mother on hunting trips. They can start weaning themselves off their mother's milk at around a year of age. Leopards can stalk their prey from the safety of treetops, and they also excel at climbing. When the mother is not nearby, the young prey is easy targets for cold-blooded predators like hyenas by climbing a neighboring tree. The cub outran the hyena by a short distance and then quickly scaled a narrow ledge. Leopard cubs were engaging in some hilarious play before their pursuer's arrival. They were approached by a troop of hyenas who had been attracted to the smell of blood. As soon as the cubs realized they were in danger, they made their way to higher ground and sought protection in the woods. The hyena did not leave immediately, but waited for the cubs to make a mistake before moving on to another location. When a herd of buffalo showed up, the hyena had no choice but to flee for its life. This ends the video for today. Do you know any interesting traits of leopards or hyenas? Tell us in the comment section. Like and share this video. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, then smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss out on our new content. See you in the next video.